So far when we've been working in Photoshop, I've given you files to work with, so you're just opening them up. But if you want to start a document from scratch, you're going to go to the File menu, and let's go through the New Dialog box here. So File New. We have some options up here at the top, so if you know you want to design something for print, they are going to print out. You can go in there and there's some presets. Notice these are all 300 ppi. That's pixels per inch. We want a higher resolution of 300 when we're going to print something. If we want to print something um, for the web, notice the DPI or the PPI, pixels per inch, DPI is for printing, um, is 72. So when we do something that's going to be on screen, we don't need the high resolution. If we had 300 resolution, it would still work. It would just take longer to process because it's got to process all those pixels. So we usually um, work at a 72 PPI. So we have these preset categories here. Um, we also, you can save your own. So if I go into saved, you can see here I've got a 600 by 600 that I've set up. When you go into save, you probably won't see anything. So let's just talk about how do we use this side over here. So if you want to set up a document and you know the dimensions, you put them in. So the first thing I want you to focus on is this. We have different dimensions. There's a huge difference between pixels and inches. So if there's 72 pixels in an inch, okay, um, if we said 600 inches, that's a huge amount. I'm not going to do the math, but that would be 600 times 72 pixels in this document. That's way too much. So you have to be really careful here. Most of the time, you're going to want to be in pixels. There's your calculation. That's way too many pixels. All right, let's set up an 800 by 800, so it's nice even sizes on both. We don't need to worry about orientation here because 800 and 800 is a square. We're going to leave the resolution at 72 pixels per inch. There's no need to, again, switch the orientation. And we have an artboard. I'm going to recommend that you turn the artboard feature off. It doesn't matter if you leave it on, but I'm going to recommend that you don't. All right, so we've set up an 800 by 800, 72 pixel per inch. Color mode RGB is for the um, is for viewing on a computer screen as opposed to CMYK, which would be for print. We're going to leave the 8-bit color mode here, and then the background contents. You can pick something. Most of the time, people want to work with white, and we're not going to really talk about the advanced option. So I'm going to hit create, and we've created an 800 by 800. Um, canvas to work with in Photoshop. Let's do another one. Let's go to File New and I want to show you how you can save one. So let's say that you were, you were doing something kind of small. Um, let's say 200 by 200. Let's change these values. I'm going to go into this preset detail. I'm going to actually give it a name. Um, let's say that I'm building, I don't know, um, a little icon, even though it's big. It doesn't matter what you name it. When you hit create and you put the preset detail and you name it here, when you hit create, it will automatically give it a name. Notice how this one says untitled? This doesn't mean it's saved. It's just creating the file name for you up front. So if I go to control S to save this document, where is it going? Let's take a look. We're gonna go to file, save as, and it's throwing it on my desktop. That's probably because that's the last time or the last location that I saved. So you have to be really careful with um, where it's going. And notice it forced it into a JPEG, okay? Now, as we build content, it will automatically change it to a PSD here. So I'm just showing you, you can name the document before you save it. I typically don't but I wanted you to see what that option is. All right, let me close both of these. Let's go back through the file new dialog box and let's talk about um, this icon, which is a preset. So let's set up a 200 by 200, 72 resolution, white background. This time I'm gonna hit this icon and this is gonna allow you to save the preset so that you can find it here in this option. So you don't actually even name it here. You click this, and I would typically name the preset what it is. This is a 200 by 200, so I'm going to do 200 by 200. Save preset. And you can see it's available for me here. Let's set up an 800 by 800 preset. Whoops. Again, we click this icon, and I'm just going to name it what it is, an 800 by 800. All right. 
now what we're going to do, let's pick a different one. File new. Let's say oh, I'm building something uh, for a mobile device and I'm going to do it for whatever, iPad mini. Okay. Now let's say the next project you do, um, you need that 800 by 800. So let's see how you would pick that. File new. Remember we already set it up. So if I go to my saved category, here's my preset. I can just double click it and it will open up and the dimensions are 800 by 800. Let me show you how you can check your dimensions of an existing document. You go to the image menu and you can go to image size or canvas size. Let's take a look at those. So we got image size. It will tell you here um, it's 800 by 800 pixels. These are the dimensions in inches. Tells you your resolution here as well. Um, so that was image, image size. Now let's take a look at image canvas size. And canvas size shows you this, but we know we did set this up for uh, 800 by 800 pixels. So let's switch to pixels and you'll see that it matches. Okay, so um, it's defaulting uh, here on mine to inches. So if you want to see the dimensions in pixels, and this has this is any image that you work with, you can check your dimensions. Um, let's see. Let's close all of those files. Let's go back through one more time. Um, so let's say that um, I want a preset. I want to use. I'm going to make something that's 600 by 600, and I know that I want to name this. Um, Project one. So I'm going to hit create. And you can again see that it's project one. Now, if I start adding content to this, um, I don't know. Let me just take a brush to it. Okay. I'm going to start adding some content. Let's say that um, for whatever reason, I add a, an adjustment layer. This isn't even going to make a whole lot of sense here in this video, but whatever. Um, because I have black, but anyway. So now, notice you have a star that's indicating you've added content to this file that you set up called Project One. Now I'm going to hit Control S, and you'll see it automatically changed it to a PSD because I've added new content in the form of an adjustment layer. And then here you need to pay attention to where you're saving it. My recommendation again is always to save to your Google Drive and you should have a subfolder dedicated to this class. But the I, last time I saved, I saved to the desktop. That's why mine's showing on the desktop. So that's just sort of an introduction to setting up new documents in Photoshop. And again, we're using version CC 2018.